Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have another Windows 10 uh, explorational video basically. The, this video also works on Windows 8 so if you're still on Windows 8 you can check this out. Um, there's also an equivalent, uh, equivalent um, type of um, task manager performance tab in Windows 7, Windows Vista and Windows XP. Uh, you can also check that so we're going to check the performance of your computer using the task manager you can go there by right clicking on the taskbar at the bottom and going into task manager you can also right click on the start menu and go to task manager in the power menu and uh, if you have a touch device you can also just tap and hold until the menu appears in the start button and go to the task manager now for most of you the task manager will probably appear like this, meaning that it has no details. What you want to do is click the more details button at the bottom and there you'll sh you should actually expand here. Make it full screen and go into what's called performance. The tab that's called performance. This will give you a overview of what's happening with your computer in real time. Uh, you know, it's an interesting place to look at, especially if you find your computer sluggish, it's a little slow, uh, your fan's been running really, really hard, and you can, like, almost, you know, blow your hair with it. <laughs> or, you know, if you have a, t uh, a tower, um, sometimes it just becomes so noisy, and even on laptops it can become quite noisy when fans are really running at maximum speed. And here you can understand a little bit what's happening. So the first thing that you see on the left side is CPU usage. CPU is the processor. It's the brain of the computer. So it's actually a big chip on the motherboard. It actually controls everything. Uh, that's why your computer works, thanks to the CPU. Now, the CPU has, of course, a certain power. And here you see how much of its power is being used at a, uh, a specific time. So here you see that my CPU usage is around 9, 10, 11%. I just had a little spike. This is normal, having spikes that sometimes bring the CPU to you know, 40, 50%, but doesn't last very long. Uh, simply means that some process in your computer has just activated something or you know, it's not a, a problem per se. What you don't want is the CPU usage when you're idle uh, and what I mean by idle is if you're just doing nothing with your computer, just looking at a task manager, it should not be at, you know, 80 or 90 percent or 100 percent. If it is, there's something going on in your computer and you need to fix it. There's a lot of things that can make the CPU run really, really uh, to its peak usage. Uh, sometimes it could be a buggy software that just, you know, uh, creates a loop and the software is in a loop and the CPU is like running uh, really at the maximum speed. It could be also one of the software that's installed in your computer. So one of the things you can do is go into the processes on the upper left and check by clicking the CPU tab to have that little arrow pointing down. What actually is using all that power of the CPU? As you see here in my 9-10% usage, 6% is Camp Studio Recorder, the recorder I'm using right now to actually make your video. Now, depending on what you're using, you'll know what's the piece of software or what is the uh, Windows process that might be actually using too much of your CPU. But sometimes it's a little more difficult. You're not really sure, uh, you know, especially if you have things like system interrupts. You know, I think for system interrupts, there's a lot of people will say, well, I don't know what that is. And it's, it's OK because you can't. These are, you know, really specific uh, Windows uh, performance uh, issues that are um, due to not always easy to find reasons. One of the things you might check for is also the startup tab. Uh, check out what's starting with your computer. Make sure that it's uh, you know to a minimum because each of these pieces of software that load with computer will run in the background and cause a CPU to maybe sometimes uh, just you know run too much. Uh, and you know you'll typically know when the uh, in the performance when the CPU's load is too high, because what's going to happen is the fans are going to start to turn much faster. The more the CPU is used, 
the more it generates heat and the more it will have the fans working to cool down so it's often you know something that you can check for uh, understanding the CPU might be used too much if there's you know constant fans on your laptop for example um, also one of the things you'll see with the CPU is its speed so for example it says here 9% 10% 11% used my speed is going around 1.2 gigahertz this is the actual speed that the, the clock is running on the CPU on my computer I can go to a maximum speed of 2.5 gigahertz uh, there's even a a mode in it that it can overclock to three gigahertz temporarily if it's actually really you know needs to have a, like a boost of power if you want um, so you want to have CPU not too high but of course if you're using an older computer the CPU load can be higher for example if you came from a core 2 machine with Windows 10 it's possible that your CPU usage is naturally at 30 or 40 percent instead of 10 because it might be actually working harder to do the same work than my computer uh, that you see here. Then you have memory. As you see here, every time you click on one of the options on the left, it brings a graphical view of that option. Memory. Here it says 2.1 gigabytes, use out of 8, 26%, uh, which is great. I mean, that's, you know, a great great uh, number to have what you want here is to not have the memory uh, overloaded too much so for example if your memory is uh, 80 90 percent used that might mean that you need to install more RAM or have more RAM installed on your computer by um, either a tech guy or if you have the ability it's not that hard you can actually add it yourself um, Basically, what happens here is that if your memory usage is too high, what's going to happen, it means that the computer runs out of RAM. And RAM is just very fast memory. So your computer really wants to try to use memory as much as possible because it makes the computer faster. But when your computer memory goes above 75 or 80 percent, what happens is that it has to compensate with a hard drive because it doesn't have enough space. So what happens is that you have to uh, basically uh, you know, use a hard drive that is much, much slower and it slows down the computer a lot. It's like if you're working and the table on which you are working doesn't have enough space for all the tools needed. And you'll have to go up, you know, stand up and go get the tool you need when you need it. So it slows down your work and the computer is pretty much the way it's working also so you don't want to have too much memory used uh, typically below 60 percent if you're above you know uh, or close to 70 80 percent or more then get yourself more RAM memory and you'll see that the computer will run faster uh, that's for sure Disk usage. Disk usage is also something to check for because sometimes the computer is like using too much of the disk and it's just slowing down everything. Every time that you have a disk access, typically very often it slows down a little bit the computer because it has to, you know, read, write stuff while it's actually working. Uh, typically, you might see that if you have more than 80% of your RAM used, you might notice that their disk access is much higher and that's because it is compensating for the lack of RAM memory. Uh, typically you don't want to have that too much so you can see spikes you can see that sometimes it might for I don't know 10 15 seconds go to 80 or 90 percent usage or 100 percent disk usage but you don't want that to be constant. If it is there's something going on with your computer there's something that needs to be uh, checked uh, of course, sometimes it can be found because, say, the antivirus is scanning your computer. That will do a very big disk access, of course. But typically, idle computer, any computer that's not doing much, shouldn't have a disk access that's too high. Um, so, you know, you might want to check why. You might want to check what piece of software might be using that uh, disk and um, you know try to find a solution 
Then you've got Ethernet and Wi-Fi. These are the two types of connection on this computer, for example, to the Internet. Uh, you've got Ethernet, which is when you plug in directly with a cable, and Wi-Fi, which is what I'm using right now, so that's why it says not connected on Ethernet. I'm always on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi or Ethernet will have two numbers. Um, the number of kilobits per second that it, uh, is actually you know, being sent from your computer to the Internet or the network because it could also be in the network and how much kilobits per second you uh, have received now this number can vary a lot it can sometimes be high even if you're not doing much because it could be a Windows update that's downloading it could be a piece of software in your computer that's updating itself so sometimes it might actually move it but you don't want to have constant um, sent or receive kilobits per second that are very high it means there's something going on you know it could be an infection from a virus it could be um, you know just a piece of software there's something that you just don't know that's using a lot of uh, internet and typically it's a nice place to check for if you found that you've had uh, say some um, you know overcharge on your uh, internet bill and they say well you're using too much internet you can go here and check how much kilobits per second your computer is constantly receiving or sending out. Um, that's interesting to look at. Now, there's no specific number I can tell you here because depending on what software you have and how you use your computer, this is all different. So, uh, you know, it could be higher than mine. I'm actually doing nothing right now, so it says there's nothing being sent or received. So that's pretty much a quick look at the performance uh, tab of the uh, task manager and how you can try to see if your computer's maybe running a little too hard or not and uh, how much memory you're using and uh, you know, it gives a, a real-time look at your computer usage. If you have any comments, questions, maybe problems, why not ask us? We'll try to answer any questions if we can. By subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. We post videos every day or almost every day. Hopefully, you will follow us and give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Thank you for following us. It's always a great pleasure.